Hello and welcome. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a new case by SM Raza, the SW31. This case is a little different from previous cases that I've done reviews on. Uh, this case is actually a combination of acrylic and metal. So, pretty excited to try this case out. It's a little different than what I've what I'm used to, so I'm pretty excited. So, let's go ahead and dive right in. So right off the bat, see another mini screwdriver. That's awesome. Uh, I think these are just going to be included from now on from SM Raza, which is awesome. We have our heat sinks. We get one 9mm and two 14mm heat sinks. We have a fan for the case. We have the actual pieces of the case itself. And we have instructions. So one thing that's different about this case uh, compared to a lot of the other cases I've done is this one has come completely apart. Uh, most of the other acrylic cases come assembled that you kind of just take apart and then put your Raspberry Pi in. This one you have to fully assemble yourself. So that is a little different than previous models, but that shouldn't be a problem for us. Okay, so once you have all your pieces taken apart and ready to go, uh, first thing you want to do is peel off the protective layers on all of the acrylic pieces. Uh, these, these coverings are clear. Uh, the other ones usually are a brown paper, so they're easier to see. Uh, so that is a bit of a disadvantage with this case compared to some of the other ones. So you just got to make sure you get all of it. Okay, so now that we have removed the stickers from all of the pieces, we can go ahead and start building. Uh, ad addition to this case that I just realized is that you actually get two sets of acrylic outer shells. You can either do the black or you can do the clear. For this build, I'm going to do the clear. Uh, I think it's going to look pretty cool. Uh, one thing to note with that, with the clear, if you wanted to, you could leave the plastic on and it does give a kind of smoky look to it if that's what you want. So in theory, you do have up to three different outer shell options with this case, which is kind of cool. I like that it's all included in there. Okay, so the first step is going to be taking our bottom base, and let's move these out of the way. So the first step is going to be putting the feet, we have four of them, onto the bottom, through the legs. And all you're going to do is take the screw, put it through the bottom here, you may need your screwdriver push it through. And then you're going to go and put it through the outer hole of the bottom of the case, like so. Okay, so once you have your foot on the bottom with the screw, this part's going to be a little difficult it seems. You're going to want to actually have the screw itself screw in through the bottom of the post.
So then once you have one post screwed in, that is how it should look. So then once you have the one in, you can go ahead and do the other four or other three. Okay, so after doing two, I figured out a quicker way of putting this all together, uh, which I think you will appreciate. Grab the right screw. So what you're going to do is take your screw, put it through the bottom of the foot. You do actually have to screw it in, you can't push it through. There's a little tiny metal plate in the foot that is threaded, so you have to screw it in. Go all the way through, it's not a problem. You're going to run it through the bottom so you have it on the top like that. And then you're going to take your post, and the middle of the post is actually threaded too. So, what you can do is start screwing it on a little. You don't want to scratch the any of the case, but once it's on there a little, it makes it a lot easier then to finish screwing it all together. Okay, so there is the case with the four posts on it. So the next step is going to be adding the sides of the walls. Okay, so we're going to want to go ahead and put our clear layers on. Then you just kind of slide in like that. Okay, so once our sides are installed, as you can see, nice and clear, very transparent. I think this is going to look really nice. It's time to install the Raspberry Pi. Now for me, I actually do not have any spare Raspberry Pis laying around, so I will have to reuse a Pi from a previous project. Uh, one thing to note here is it does look like there is actually a pad right there for the, heat, the bottom chipset, so you would not actually use the bottom heatsink that is typically installed on the bottoms of the Raspberry Pis, so I will most likely have to take it off in order to fit it on this case. I'll see, but I'm going to say I will most likely have to take this heat sink off. Okay, so with the Raspberry Pi without the bottom heat sink, it's time to go ahead and slide it down in, or drop it down in my case. And then at this point, it's just a matter of screwing in the four mounting points on the board into the case. Okay, so once you have all four screws down, it's time to go to the next step. One thing to note, I do feel it's a little easier to take off two of the walls to get in to actually put the screws in. The instructions do say to put the walls on first and then put the, the Raspberry Pi in, but I kind of feel it was a lot easier taking the walls off. Another thing to note with the screws, you do not need to go too crazy with tightening them down. It's just like any other board, so you want to make sure it's secure in the case or whatever you're screwing to, but you don't need to break the board or make sure it's super tight. So you just want to make sure there's a good feel to it. So the next step is going to be installing the fan. To install the fan, you want to make sure that the notches are on the side the fan's going to be installed. And the fan itself, the sticker on the fan, so one side has a sticker, one doesn't, faces down for airflow. Now typically when I install my fan, I like to try to wrap the fan cabling around the fan so that way it's out of the way of everything. So this will go on like this. So I will turn it that way. Do this way. There we go. We'll go that way, and then that'll give us enough room.
Okay, so once your fan is installed, it is time to plug it into the Pi board. From the instructions, you can see here the fan actually has two speeds, a low speed at 3.3 volts and a high speed at 5 volts. I like to run at the higher speed just because I don't know what type of workload I may be putting on a Raspberry Pi at any given time. So I never have had power constraints at this point. So I always just go for the higher speed to make sure that I'm going to get the maximum airflow for any project that I'm running. So let's go ahead and plug the positive and the negative in. Looks like the way I ran my wire didn't work out that well this time, but that's okay. Okay, so once your fan is installed and plugged in, it's time to screw down the case. Okay, once the top's screwed in, your case is pretty much ready to go. There's a side view of the nice clear acrylic side. Uh, it looks pretty nice, I really do like it. You have access to the GP I.O. pins, you have access to all the inputs and outputs, you have access to your SD card slot, you have access to the Ethernet as well as all USB ports. The thing about this case that I do really like is the fan guard on top. Um, it's not the best. You can still kind of get your finger in there and get stuff in there while it's running. Uh, but for mine, what I've typically been doing is purchasing these little fan guards uh, myself and putting them on, which are a lot better. I do like, but it's definitely an improvement over nothing at all. So hopefully they continue to include the fan guards in the cases and hopefully make them a little better. Probably three more spokes would make it a lot easier, but... With cost, who really knows? But that's the case itself. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below. If you like this channel, please subscribe. It helps me have motivation to continue making content that you see here. Also, feel free to like the video as well. Thank you very much.